Well, hi everybody. Hello. We haven't been uh, put, posting anything recently because we are back now at the cottage um, and we're not leaving till the end of August. So we'll be doing a bit more then. But what we thought we'd do um, is show you a couple of the smaller upgrades we've done to the van, which we find for ourselves really useful and also what we carry in the summer and winter so you can just see what we've got one of the upgrades we've done is we found the first trip because everything we've got watches phones ipads computers um lots of other bits and pieces as well to show you we were plugging and unplugging things left right and center so what i've done is i've done some additional sockets so hopefully this is all going to come out so what we've done is i put a six-way power pack under there with a couple of usbs so the um and there's the already built-in um plug socket there then i've run a cable over the chair and through underneath and i'll put another double socket just under here so what we do with that is we do the starlink which sits up there and also I've got another power cable here which we run outside um, for doing uh, the air fryer or the induction hub or whatever we cover our seats um, trying to protect them I am going to be mentioning some company names um, the reason I'm doing that is just so you know where we've got things from um, we're not being paid or um, supported or anything by any of the companies so paint seal um, covered the outside uh, to protect it but they also put some stuff on the seats and we have had a few spillages and anyway whatever they used has been works really well we are now also uh, using walkie talkies so Lynn when she's outside at the back doesn't have to scream and shout anymore mm, I and, love and, those yeah she, she likes yeah. those TV which we never showed you last time we have a couple of boxes with torches tapes or a string for tying up the chicken when we're doing the air fryer and we've got another box with all plugs and sockets so we can recharge everything all up we've got tv which we never showed you before that's not an upgrade that was actually here before and then we've got a little uh temperature gauge which i'll show you the outside so it gives us the inside and outside light look what i bought him yeah i think we've Love seen it. that before i don't know um but the just light. a couple of little upgrades and yeah we'll do that just mm. in the way oh, right. so there's a shower which we've shown you but we have used it and that works really well and something else we've done we've brought these little boxes they sit on the floor when we're actually driving but when we're parked up we put all our adobe stuff in so rather than having a bag we can just put all our adobe stuff in there go to a shower hang it on and it does you know work really well and something else we use uh, is this waste pipe and tank cleaner which we put down the sinks to keep the pipe work thing and it does help stop the grey waste from smelling because it can get a bit smelly the laundry bit. Uh, no I didn't show you the laundry bit did I? we've got the our laundry down there but somebody's taken our nice blue bag uh, which we got from uh, nice big blue bag it's not in there it's not in oh, there because you've been. taken it and you haven't put it back oh it's upstairs we got well fridge we've got our little carpet there which we uh put out obviously so you know drive slow keep campers drunk campers matter stevie and lily's mat and i don't think we showed you the uh cellar but there's our cellar so we put loads of stuff all in there which is really cool so i'll just show you a couple of things on the outside so what I do with the Starlink, I run the Starlink cable through here and upstairs and up, up to the top and also there's our gauge. Because we've got a double seal on things, it all like seals up nice tight. And one thing we haven't got out is the microwave. Um, we haven't actually used that yet but we still carry it with us and in here is obviously screen wash and all the other bits and pieces we need for the toilets and things like that we've also got chemical waste in there show you the 
that's how empty the garage is at the moment and you'll see why but we've got obviously our outside shower here but what we do is I just strap everything all down and all the boxes I which we got from B&Q actually interlink so they all sit there really safe and there is the 165 pound spare uh, grey waste pipe but I just use the ones which I've made myself which all work really well because you can see underneath there it is the threads are all all right and everything and uh, it's easy to like just replace if we need to obviously the bike rack you've seen we'll show you the bikes because you haven't seen that you've got the motorbike here we'll show you the trailer um, and our snow shovel which my daughter bought me for Christmas I think it was um, but we've not used it yet because when we've been at Borg St Moritz it hasn't actually snowed very much in the town so we're hoping next year we'll get a little bit more snow so we come around here's our water pipes to be fair I've only used them once um, when we parked up a long time I tend to keep the water tank topped up with the watering can because we only use the water for coffees washing our faces and hands and doing our teeth the rest of the time if we're in campsites then uh, obviously we use air showers but when we use a shower I just made sure that the water tank was all topped up and great we've got our generator here a fuel can which we've got petrol in because obviously the generator is uh, fuel, is petrol and it's a backup if I need some more petrol for the motorbike as well grey bucket for grey waste because again when we're parked up um, and we're going to be there for a while rather than disconnecting the van and driving off to the big grey waste dump I just put it into there or if we know we're not going to fill the grey waste up we just keep fill, keep using that and then when we leave the campsite we obviously empty it out there's a power pack here that's what really saved us when we we're in Strasbourg and the battery just died on us we just pulled that out jump started the van again and away we went we don't have a spare wheel at the moment uh, which I am going to try and source but we've got something here that uh, foam fills the tyres if, if there's a, a, a leak or something I mean if a tyre gets absolutely shredded that is totally useless um, I do have a jack and everything in the van so we are going to um, get a spare wheel and that will be in, in the garage we got glue, silicon grease, some spray uh, grease here as well. That's really for the push bikes. We got all our connectors for topping up the LPG gas. So far, although we filled up in Italy and in France, that's the only one we've needed, but you never know. So we just keep things safe like that. Add blue, which is if you do use add blue it's important that you do keep some spares because we have been in a number of garages that don't actually sell add blue if you can get it on draft then it's a lot cheaper than buying it by the bottle but we just keep a couple of uh, cans in the van just in case obviously toolbox for doing all sorts of different things which we've got we've got washing line a nice uh, hanger for hanging your panties on and socks and uh, bathers or whatever so that's there a nice step which comes in handy for putting up the big grey uh, ornate grey winter cover and also doing the push bikes and I've got a little one in the kitchen because I can't always reach the cupboards it's yeah. really, really useful so some of the toys we've got for playing games with hammer, little dustpan and brush uh, cable ties, invaluable fire blanket, first aid kit, emergency light if we break down anywhere quite nice is it? just keep yeah. so we've got some extra hooks and things for in the in the garage if we need it uh, crutches which we had to get uh, in Jan or February uh, when Lynn hurt herself and one of the great things with these I've taken them off but if, if you can see that that goes on the on the crutches there like that so if it's icy and snowy it sticks into the snow so it works really well. really well so we've got a nice little spade here which has got sharp edges it's got something that you can make a spark with so you can start a fire so again if we're wild camping or whatever it's got a bottle opener which you can just see there as well but we've got bottle openers so we don't have to worry but this really is a brush which we got that's really for brushing snow and stuff off the top of the van if it if and when we ever get snow 
when we have the awning out obviously it's got to be strapped down um the brackets that came with the straps uh we were at one campsite a few weeks ago and when i was trying to hammer it is really hard anyway it just caved it all in so now i've got these spare i've got extra ones so now i just use these type of hooks which are a lot better that's a little gadget for plugging into the uh, fresh water supply so we can connect the hose straight to it and easy mozzie lights these are brilliant uh they're rechargeable um but they work really well i think the sun's shining on that no, one so a few little yeah there's a here. few little mozzies in there i've got some of more of those on order we've got another two on order so we can have two inside the van and two outside power cables this is the one we use when we're at the at the cottage but sometimes we are really close to the power supply so i use that um and we've got a 30 meter one there i've got some other ones in here which i just had the cable so all i had to do was buy the plugs and i made them up myself so that works really well uh we've got a, a spare cassette which so far we haven't had to use but that sits in the garage so for wild camping and we do fill the cassette up done all that um then we're fine we've got the um starlink starlink um so what it was the boxes they came in were, were pretty big so basically i've cut down the the framework and, and we fit it into this we use these again as i say these come from b and q but they all interlink so that when we're in the van we don't have to strap everything all down we just strap the bottom box down and you know away away these all just sit inside and it works really well we've got 